Let he who has eyes to see, see. Let he who has ears to hear, hear. In this hour, God is cleansing his house. First Peter chapter 4, verse 17 says, For the time has come for judgment, and it must begin with God's household. And if judgment begins with us, what terrible fate awaits those who have never obeyed God's good news? A distinct line is being drawn. Many are conforming to culture. Others are standing strong for what is true. A remnant is rising. Matthew chapter 13, verses 24 to 27 say, Here is another story Jesus told. The kingdom of heaven is like a farmer who planted good seed in his field. But that night, as the workers slept, the enemy came and planted weeds among the wheat, then slipped away. When the crops began to grow and produce grain, the weeds also grew. The farmer's workers went to him and said, Sir, the field where you planted that good seed is full of weeds. Where did they come from? Indeed, from where did all the weeds come? From where have deception and division come? From where have demonic doctrines come? The enemy has attempted to sow these things in the church. There are those who look like us, talk like us, and pretend to believe the word of God like us, but we can rejoice and rest in the fact that God himself will take care of this. Matthew chapter 13, verses 28 through 30 say, an enemy has done this, the farmer exclaimed. Should we pull out the weeds, they asked? No, he replied, you'll uproot the wheat if you do. Let both grow together until the harvest. Then I will tell the harvesters to sort out the weeds, tie them into bundles and burn them and put the wheat in the barn. Ultimately, it's God who will judge, God who will separate the wheat from the weeds. We need only wait and see. And while the final judgment comes at the end of all things, there are certainly seasons when God will clean house. What we're seeing today is a separating, a revealing of truth. Truly, God is cleansing His church. It is being revealed who truly believes the authority of the Word of God over the opinions of the world. It is being revealed who esteems Christ over culture. Take note, sadly, many of the churches bowing to the systems of the world today could very well be the ones bowing to the system of the Antichrist when it has fully come. For now, we just watch. God will do what He does. Who bows to culture? Who participates with the world's systems at the cost of obedience to God's word? Who softens the message? Who winks at sin? God will bring separation. This prophetic message is both a warning and an encouragement. Get ready. God is cleansing his house. I'm David Diga Hernandez, and that is your Moment of Truth. For more free teachings like this, make sure you're signed up to my emailing list so that I can send you weekly emails with content that will help you to grow spiritually. Go to davidhernandezministries.com slash email. Thank you for watching Encounter TV. Don't forget to subscribe and click the notification bell. Also, help us spread the gospel of Jesus Christ in the power of the Holy Spirit. Make a one-time donation or become a monthly supporter by clicking on the donate link now.